Hello, my crafty friends. Um, today in our prophecy study, we're studying, we're still studying the ancestry of Jesus or the prophecies about his ancestry. And right now we're studying the fact that he descended from Abraham. Last week we talked about him descending from Shem, and now it's getting even more specific and saying his, he descended from Abraham. Uh, Matthew begins his genealogy with the introduction um, and it says, and this is the New American Standard Bible that I'm, that my verses are, um, that I printed off came out of this week. It says, the record of the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So um, the majority of the peoples of the world became known as the Gentile nations, while a very small family became known as God's chosen people, the Jewish nation. Um, to this privileged people, God gave a land and a prophecy that he would make the people a great nation and bless the earth through them. And that was um, Genesis 12, 1 through 7. And I'm going to read that. He says, the, Now the Lord said to Abram, Go forth from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land which I will show you. And I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And so you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you and the one who curses you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth will be blessed. So Abram went forth as the Lord had spoken to him and Lot went with him. Now Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took Sarai, um, his wife, and Lot, his nephew, and all their possessions which they had accumulated, and the persons which they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. And thus they came to the land of Canaan. Abram passed through the land as far as the site of Shechem to the oak of Morai. Now the Canaanite was then in the land, and the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. So, um, so the, um, the prophecy that forecasts Jesus was right here. Um, and in you, all the families of, of the earth will be blessed. And then um, in verse 3, And I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. And in all in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. And that, um, that ability to bless all the families of the earth is talking about Jesus. The fulfillment of that prophecy is told to us... Um, The fulfillment of that prophecy, yeah, is what we read in Matthew 1.1. 1, 1, the record of the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Also in Galatians 3.16 says, Now the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. He does not say, and to seeds, as referring to many, but rather to one. And to your seed, that is Christ. So that tells us, you know, pretty blatantly, in the New Testament, that what the Old Testament was talking about here. Uh, and the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith preached before the gospel to Abraham, saying, In thee all nations shall be blessed. And that's Galatians 3 verse 8. The scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, the heathens in this version and the Gentiles are the same thing, Preach the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, All the nations will be blessed in you. Um, and that that's um, you know, that's God telling Abraham long before Jesus came that this was going to happen. Abraham had many sons, including his firstborn Ishmael and Isaac. And here again we have a divine choice, for God decreed that the Messiah was to come through Isaac. In Isaac thy seed shall be called. Um, and the forecast of that, and this is what we just read here. Let me get to there. I'm sorry. I didn't change the page. <laughs> um, this is Genesis 26, two through four. And the Lord appeared to him and said, do not go down to Egypt. Stay in the land, which I shall tell you. Sojourn in this land and I will be with you and bless you for 
For to you and to your descendants I will give these lands, and I will establish the oath I swore to your father Abraham. I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven, and will you give your descendants these lands, and by your descendants all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. And he's talking to Isaac there. Um, and in Romans, the fulfillment of that prophecy says, um, it starts kind of in the middle of a thought, but it says, to those who are Israelites, to whom belongs the adoption as sons and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the temple service and the promises, whose are the fathers and from whom is the Christ according to the flesh, who is overall God be blessed forever. Amen. But it is not as though the word of God has failed, for they are not all Israel who are descended from Israel, nor are they all children because they are Abraham's descendants. But through Isaac, your descendants will be named. So he's very specific. It was through Isaac that um, Jesus came. And then in Hebrews um, 11, verses 17 through 19, it says, By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises was offering up his only special son, the one it was promised, for it said, In Isaac your descendants shall be called. And he considered that God was able to raise people even from the dead, from which he also re received him back as a type. So Abraham was willing to offer Isaac because he knew that God had promised him he was going to bless all the people through Isaac. And so he knew somehow God, even if he raised him from the dead, somehow Isaac was going to be okay. Um, and so so he was unafraid. Of course, we all know that, um, that God stopped his hand and gave him a, a ram to kill instead um, for the sacrifice. But, um, but Abraham's faith was tested in that, and, and God blessed um, Isaac's descendants. And that's where Jesus, you know, came through Abraham, through Isaac. And um, the verse that we're going to put in our Bible study tonight, today is um, Galatians 3.16. Now the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. He does not say, and to seeds, as referring to many, but rather to one, and to your seed, that is Christ. I retyped this down here so I could um, cut it out and put it on the page. So, um, God has very specific intentions about where Jesus is coming from. And, um, whoops, I kind of got some of it I didn't intend to. Sometimes it's not easy to get this to rip the way you want it to. And I'll, if I'm going to rip three sides, I might as well rip the fourth side. It just seems right, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and bring this in a little bit. Maybe this a little bit too. I don't want to keep doing this like I did when I cut my sister's hair when I was 12. And she asked me to cut her bangs. And I kept trying to even them up. And they ended up <laughs> very, very, very short. And my mom had to cut the rest of her hair off to kind of match them. I don't know if she's forgiven me for that yet or not. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that to my paper. So here we go. This is the paper we're going to use. Um, I do think I want to um, to color it some so that it won't be, you know, white on top of this. This is going to be our background. And everything else is kind of um, like that. So this would, it would just kind of show up too much so we're gonna doctor that a little bit I'm trying to think how I want to do it because I don't want it to be um, really bold I think since this is red I've got some red um, archival ink maybe I'll use that Find it real quick. 
Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't think in advance enough to... I don't want to make this really dark, so I'm going to try to kind of lightly... What I don't like is when I end up with those circles on it um, from this applicator because I'm not really adept at using it. <laughs> okay, let's do a little bit more here. I oh, see there I went and got a circle because I did too much. My sister was um, four, by the way, when I was 12, so... <laughs> uh. Yeah, that was, that was sad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, ink this around the edges too. I think that'll make it fit into the page better. Okay. And then I've also got this flower that I'm going to put on the page. And I'm going to use this piece of a, I don't know, something out of a book for my stem. And then I'm going to cut some of these for uh, the leaves. So the first thing I want to do is get this um, music as my background. And uh, I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and use some Mod Podge. I thought I was going to use something else, but I think I think I can get it down easier if I use something liquid. Okay. Obviously wasn't enough. Let's um, zoom in a little bit more here. There we go. Okay, let's just put this right down there. <laughs> they put it in there upside down. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, no, I did. Yeah, I did. I put it in there upside down. That's what happens when you don't pay enough attention. Okay. Let's move this out of the way and grab our ruler just because it'll make it easier to tear this off. It's just the easiest way I know to do it. It's even easy. It's easier than cutting it, and I don't mind having a little bit of a raggedy edge. Okay. So there's last week's page. And here 
is our basis for this week's page. So put that in some water. Okay. Now we've got this flower that I want to put on here just because my daughter made it for me and I really like it. And I sprayed it with some inks from it through a stencil, yellow and then red. So you can still see the yellow a little bit, not a whole lot, but I really like it. So we're going to put it on this page because I'm afraid if I don't do something with it now, I'll end up messing it up and I don't want that to happen. So, okay. And we're going to um, fix this a stem here. Um, and I may make the stem go like that. Um, maybe just a little crooked, not a lot crooked. Okay. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue with this because it's a heavy paper and it's just easier. And I'm going to put this in just by putting that on the page like that. And then, then we'll attach this. Good. Um, I think we'll have to put this down here because it's not going to fit anywhere else. I wasn't thinking about where I was going to put this when I put the flower on. I just put it on where I thought I liked it. So, <laughs> so we'll adapt. It's okay. Alrighty, now we need a few leaves, and um, I'm going to start with this kind of copper colored one because I like copper. It's my favorite metallic color. Oops, so there's one leaf. And let's go ahead and do this green one here. Maybe we can stick that one. These two and this one, I think that'll be enough. I'm thinking about going ahead and putting another butterfly on this page because I like butterflies and flowers together. And I've still got that um, set of stickers out, so 
It will give me a chance to add in a little bit more color. Okay. Hmm. What may I not want? Those. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, we're going to start with this one because I can kind of tuck it underneath here since it um, is kind of cut off square on that one side. I'm going to put this one down low. I'm going to put this one on. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. That way we have um, two sets of two. Somehow that looks better to me. There we go. Okay, I'm liking that so far. I think I do want to, um, just for kicks, edge this page in red. I rarely ever do that. Okay, I like that. And let's let's look for a butterfly to stick on there. Oh, well, I can tell the red ones clash, so we don't want a red one. Hmm, I think this golden one right here is good. Should we have it flying in to the page? I think so. Alrighty. Let's draw some little antenna on him. There we go. Okay. Well, there's our page. And I like it. Um, you know, I, one of my favorite things about um, these verses is that it, it doesn't say that, um, I mean, God honored the Jewish peoples by bringing Jesus through their, um, through them, but he didn't bring Jesus just for them. He brought Jesus for all of us, for everyone all over the world, all nations, all they have to do is believe in him. And um, I think that's, that's amazing and wonderful. And um, I'm grateful because I'm not Jewish. And so <laughs> I, if, if God hadn't brought Jesus for all nations, I wouldn't be acceptable. Well, thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.